this is Lola Lee T. Hi, my name is Lola. I make a lot of videos about 90 Day Fiancé. So please support me by hitting the subscribe and like button. Hello everyone. I know it's quite a late life, but when you want to talk with somebody, it doesn't matter what time it is on the clock. Right when you want to talk, it's the right time. And for me, it's the right time to say finally, Happy Mother's Day to everyone. I was very silent today because I was super busy running my errands. Uh, went visit Jeffrey. I um, called all people I know, mothers I personally know. Um, I just did so, so many things. I, as a pet mother, dog mother, I took care of, of my puppies this morning. And so I just, it was a busy day. Anyway, I'm glad that there is such holidays, such a nice reason to say how grateful we are to all our mothers and to mothers in the whole world, I guess, the US particularly. I don't know. Uh, I, I know for sure that in my country we celebrate Mother's Day a different day. So when I called my mom today and I was like, mom, congratulations, you are the best. I love you so much. I was like, what's going on? Uh, Mother's Day? Uh, okay. So she, she celebrates Mother's Day in a different day. But she was glad to that extra attention. She was confused, but I know that inside her heart she was very busy but very glad to hear from me. The call took me like <laughs> took her five minutes literally because oh thank you so so much. I'm so busy. Uh, can you call me tomorrow? Bye. I mean I love my mom. She's super upfront, super straight. I got it from her, I guess. So anyway, oh my hair, yeah I forgot to mention, I have a new hair in this life, so oh, you didn't see my recent reel of my trends, uh, not update, not tune in, um, a renovation, nothing, oh, tell me this word, oh, makeover, with my makeover, it's just fabulous. I love it so much. We slowly go to blonde, I guess, or something much lighter than I had been on the show. You remember that long dark hair? So I love the length. It's just, I feel so free, it's freedom. And also, I don't know, I feel like I look skinnier with the short hair. So that's my personal benefit of having this. Um, happy Mother's Day. I want to say particularly Happy Mother's Day to all my American mamas who adopted me virtually. Uh, some of them I know personally. Um, Kimberly, Kathy, my San Diego family, uh, all my friends who are not my mothers but they are, you know, like my close friends and they are mothers. Um, Auntie Alice, Joyce, Linda, Jacqueline, Christina. By the way, Christina sent some very beautiful decorations for Kazan's spot, and I'm gonna change it very soon from spring to summer. It's uh, such a cute butterflies. That's amazing. The weather wasn't very nice couple last couple days, so I just decided not to mess with dirt right now. It won't look that pretty. So, but I gotta show you the flowers Jeffrey planted around Kazan's uh, stone. They are like so beautiful, and this is the only one spot in the whole, you know, place being taken care of that much with a flower with a live flowers, which mean means more because you put actually more effort to it you know to decorate to visit to take care of it so it means more 
Um, my mom is right now. I talk. I talked about you. My mom. What what she was doing? She was busy. She is uh, on visiting our relatives, our big family from fa my father's side. Uh, my father passed away in 2016, but we have a huge family from his side. Uh, there were eight kids in his family, so do you understand how many aunts and um, the, the uncles I have, and they're like families. So right now, one of my aunts and uh, her, one of my aunts and her husband they celebrate 30th anniversary of their wedding today, May 9th. It's already there, so. Uh, that's that's a huge celebration. Like the whole family is over. It's around thirty-five, six-ish people uh, in their house in country. They live in country, so they all miss me and tell me to come back to visit at least, which is right now impossible. Oh. Nemo, thank you for purchasing the badges. I forgot to remind you, but you are so nice, kind, and smart that you do it without my words. Uh, my father spread my mom's ashes in the ocean. I was so romantic. That's what I would do. And actually, I would do it because I know my kids can... I mean, my kids. Whoever will take care of my uh, grave, you know, they will kind of be... Uh, not stuck, not tied to the place, you know, how to take care of, what if they want to move to another country, to another state, I don't want them to be like obligated, so I would say just, yeah, spread the ashes, uh, I don't know, under Russia, well, I will belong where I was born, and I mean, that, that sounds, for me, it's, it's, a nice way but Jeffrey absolutely loves Chasm's place so do I and it's a very pretty and special spot and he loves that he can come and feel that energy and you know talk to him somewhere particular oh uh, did you get married people I think you missed my last YouTube video you have to go to YouTube, my YouTube channel, and check it out. There is an answer. Not dear, but you can assume. Uh, there is an answer on that question. Uh, also, mm, today is May 8th. I guess that Europe celebrates the Victory Day today, May 8th. Tomorrow, my country celebrates the Victory Day, but in the these political circumstances, I feel like Russia doesn't have a right to celebrate this uh, holiday anymore. That, that, you know, like, what's the news, the blast news we're uh, talking about, and I was trying to like, catch up with the news every day, I watch the political analytics from uh, Ukraine. Um, like the my main my main fear right now is that on the victory day, uh, Putin will officially uh, call the war war and start a drafting. You know, all that's a, just the worst. What what ha can happen for my family? I feel like I have a brother who is um, he's twenty eight, so his age is right to you know to be drafted uh, especially he was in the army before like a long time ago um uh, not in, like eight nine years ago so i'm just honestly i'm trying i'm updating the news every other hour and i am honestly terrified for him so hopefully it's just the uh, rumors and it's not gonna happen. Whew. Um, you're asking me about Jeffrey. Yeah, I hope it's not gonna happen too, thank you. Um, I visited him for, what's what, it was third time? 
yes, yeah, that was the third time. And he's same old Jeffrey. He's with his white smile in the whole prison. <laughs> um, it's interesting fact that the last time I was there, um, the people keep staring at us, uh, which makes sense. Um, when we said goodbye and we left the place, so visitors, they go together outside. And one woman approached me and she said, I was Oh, the whole time I was staring at you too. Oh my god, you look like a Hollywood couple. You were so pretty. And I was already like crying and my uh, mascara was like, oh, thank you, so sweet of you. And she made me cry even more. Uh, she didn't know nothing. She, did, she knew nothing about the show. Obviously I didn't tell that. Neither does Jeffrey. He doesn't tell anyone anything about that lots of people kind of know it and Amy hey happy Mother's Day my friend from Boston my virtual friend uh, nice amazing person um, also today was uh, the moment Jeffrey was walking around people sitting, you know, on the different tables and one woman was like, wait a minute, I saw your show on TV and he said, oh really, do you recognize this short hair woman? She said, is that the one who said no? Uh-huh, oh, she should have told you yes at the first, at the very beginning, so it was, wasn't the point to come and surprise you. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It was nice. They shared some 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 food with us. It's just like uh, this is absolutely no need. But, well, whatever. Is it a contact visit? Yes, it is. A very contact visit. Nice. Yeah, you kind of have to sit across the table. I mean, you can at first when you meet each other you can hug kiss you can squeeze each other then you're sitting across the table which sucks i know but we're all sitting like holding hands they come every now and then to and tell to kind of separate but yeah i guess they put up with us more than with everybody else uh, the sentence is ridiculous, and the time to serve will be dismissed. We're waiting for a motion for a new trial, which I told you chances are very, very low because you know the statistics of this case one of 3,000 usually. Uh, um, yeah, they can grant a new trial. Most of the cases they go to the appeal procedure, um, it takes Unfortunately, it takes time. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, Jeffrey has some <laughs> new friends. Let's call it friends, I guess. I mean, people who 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 work out. He he's working out together with the one guy, uh, William. I saw him today too. It's like big muscled guy just very nice very country very open with a funny sense of humor with the accent i even i can't understand like 50 percent but it makes him even cutier funnier i guess and he has oh he told me that the people in his prison said although it's a men's prison i mean it's a men's prison they have women there i mean we they have people who consider them a women the women there um, and they are tough very tough uh, so i heard from jeffrey that it was several days ago they had some arguments those women i mean inmates 
we, I, I think they are maybe they, most likely they're transgenders or just women and uh, they stabbed each other so when I hear stories like that I was just stay away from troubles like that people like that it's, absolutely there are some yeah people who there are always people around who recognize him so they they have he has a nickname there Hollywood and a superstar which I don't know um, it's it usually plays kind of well on him so people share extra food they give him extra you know Mm, how like treatment I would say like they don't treat me that them that uh, him that bad uh, he told me that it was in Bledsoe County when he was before at that place and one of the guards recognized him and was like oh my god can't believe it. I'm so glad you're here he was like you know I'm not <laughs> he's like always trying to be like nice to everyone and funny yeah Peggy hey Jacqueline hey Peggy yes happy Mother's Day Peggy that's an amazing woman she has a huge heart and she keeps Jeffrey and I in her heart which I'm grateful forever and she has um, grandchildren she has just children she's um, taking care of and teaching so, yeah. you can ask me some questions that would be not a monologue but a dialogue that's the puppies I mean we planned puppies but we kind of planned Jeffrey planned it and he's supposed to be here to help me with that because never ever in my life I delivered puppies of course I'm gonna help uh, Viesta so with all the vet I had the consultation I mean kind of like a master class I watched some videos and I, I think alone I would definitely pass out and I'm gonna take her to I mean, to another place, I'm um, getting everything ready in one of the uh, houses, uh, Jeffrey's family's, uh, Jeffrey's dad's uh, house, and he will put her in a special, like a small shed, I guess, to, to deliver the puppies, and I will help to take care of of it so get them ready I just still um, all people I asked if she is really pregnant because I can't uh, just take her to the vet you know to, to do the uh, EMR how do you call it the ultrasound because I don't know the exact date I, mean, I know the average uh, the approximate date of her pregnancy but I need to wait a couple more, maybe one week more, and mm, we'll see how many puppies if she really pregnant or she's just getting fat. But most of the people I ask, my neighbors, Jeffrey's friends, they all say she definitely is, most likely she is. So um, there's gonna be pretty puppies of uh, Caucasian Shepherd. Caucasian, Russian Caucasian Mountain Dog is the best guard and it's the best family member with the uh, families with the children. They are super nice with children, patients, and super vicious to people who try to sneak into your property. That's no no for them. Never allow that. Will you? Uh, will I sell puppies? I mean, I can't keep all of them, so I will take care of them for a couple months and then we'll see lots of my neighbors, uh, they are interested, but yeah, I'm really open 
I hope they just will be healthy, you know, everything will be good with them and then we, we decide. Maybe we'll leave one, one puppy. <laughs> You'll buy three. If you are serious, message me in my DMs. We'll see. Ah, you like my hair. Thank you for that compliment. I love it too, especially the lens. It's just so comfortable. National Guard. Ugh, that's pain. I really, really still want to join the National Guard. It was my um, decision I made. Um, oh, взвешивая все факты, за и против. Uh, осознанно принимаю решение, как же это сказать по-английски. Sorry. So I, did, I, did, I made this decision knowing what are the consequences are, and I still want to go. The only reason that holds me back holds me back is I will have puppies soon. I have three dogs. I have to take care. Chaos has a really serious um, health issues with his um, skin, which we tried at all the medication and we are still in process of healing. So yeah, right now that's the, the, the only uh, reason which holds me back, kind of like, I don't cancel the whole National Guard idea. I want to postpone it for now until Jeffrey is back. Then we're gonna have this. Um, overplayed as the Ukrainian Russian war affected me uh, emotionally, absolutely. I mean, it's just hard when when you are a citizen of an aggressor country, and you know, every time, even in the today in the prison, uh, we was walking in with one of the guards, and he was like, I'm curious. I heard you, you have an accent, where are you from? And just, I don't really want, I know that they won't judge me for like where I was born, but I just don't want to tell extra uh, time, extra people that like, I'm from Russia. So I was like, I'm from Europe. He's, oh, I'm really, really curious what country are you from? I just don't want to talk about it. And in this way, it's does it affect me? No, it's nothing compared to how people suffer right now in Ukraine and my friends, families. Um, it's scary. Um, I hope it won't affect directly my family in the way that my brother will have to be drafted and participate. I mean, I, I will have a serious talk with him about how to avoid all this I'm doing my researches I'm really hooked up with um, all the main bloggers you know Russian and Ukrainian who are against the war and who give you advice how to even if you were drafted how to legally avoid all those troubles how to escape how to say no I'm a pacifist or you know there are different ways so uh, I won't let my brother go there Yeah, those dogs means Jeffrey, absolutely. Those kids means Jeffrey. No, thank you. Compliments. Uh, uh, the boys, mm, Miles visited, yeah, his dad. Um, two weeks, be two weeks before, and yeah, he was excited. He just misses his dad so much, and he's like this a teenager age, and he really, really needs his dad, his advice. You know, like how it happens with teenagers: the first love relationship. He needs to know um, his mother's opinion and father's is. Uh, very important 
and uh, that's a good thing. Um, I he sent me. Uh, you know, Miles is doing soccer. Uh, Jeffrey's uh, teenager son is doing soccer, and he he does so well. Every game, he plays more time on the field. At first, when he started, I remember I didn't even. Uh, on reels, he was running like his father, this goofy run with like a penguin style and it was just funny and he basically chased the, the, the ball without uh, touching it right now he's doing amazing, he's not only touching the ball with his legs but it was his head, it's like everything so he's truly involved, last game they, their team lost but he was the only one who kicked the ass and you know it was like he was so upset that their uh, team uh, lost he was like you know it makes him mm, what i think it makes him value next time when he will be less motivated um and put once uh, doesn't want to put the like full, full effort into the game he will remember that case when they lost because of the rest of the team uh, and he was like okay today I'm gonna work really really hard even though I don't have motivation I have to work hard because it's a team uh, success that's that's a great thing he grows as a man every day he's uh, becoming very tall he's <laughs> taller than his dad and he's very very handsome yeah. Hey, hey everyone who's joining. Just you can ask me some questions, give me some ideas, I will tell you uh, the updates. All the kids, parents, family, friends of Jeffrey. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. Thank you for, ba for buying the badges, by the way. Ed motivates me a lot helps me a lot to keep kind of stay in touch with you want to go live more and more that's a really a powerful kick do i answer my dms i do i try as much as i see you know i don't want to um, spend like all 24 hours actually in my phone and I don't want to spend all 24 hours just responding to the DM messages I have to do some posts, some reels I've got to really come back and as I used to post every day like, oh, let's say oh, I know how to my mask <laughs> um to uh, in, irritate you, to irritate you every day. Am I friends with? Uh, I'm friends with Natalie from the show. Like uh, either like you or either you like it or not. I don't care. We are. Um. Yeah, praying for fair treatment and better outcome, absolutely. It will be, we'll see. How's the military going for you? You have to just watch this live again because I already said about that. How's my Spanish? Yes, what I wanted to discuss with you. So. I kind of have a, a little bit break from Spanish. I honestly became a little bit less motivated. I checked the cost of uh, flights, tickets from Russia to Dominican Republic. I need to just what is, sell my, not liver, uh, you know, organs to buy that ticket it's just three thousand dollars it's ridiculous and i have to plan uh, start over with planning how to see my mom the op special operation how to see my mom this year and plan b is istanbul 
I've been there once. I got lost there, as you remember. I fell asleep in the bus and woke up in the wrong bus. I said in the wrong bus. I had a layover while going to America to visit Jeffrey. September. So <laughs> I fell asleep, woke up, understand that I'm not in in the airport and I have like not a lot of time and I ran out of there, jumped in a, car, in a taxi, left my phone in the bus, so I just, it was a nightmare. Then with the taxi driver, we get back to the bus, bus station, it was the last, like literally bus, uh, the last bus stop where I woke up finally. I found my phone. Uh, the dri the taxi driver yelled at me because he he couldn't uh, the payment wasn't uh, going through with the card. I gave him a wrong card, so he yelled at me. He left me uh, alone with like I don't even know where where to go, what to do, and I was late to my uh, plane to America. Of course, I was like in tears. And I couldn't call Jeffrey and let him know because there was no connection. I mean, I, when I get to the airport, I had Wi-Fi, but not before that. And when I get to the airport, I saw the schedule and my flight was postponed for two hours. That Only that saved my ass last time. So I have a psychological trauma about Istanbul. You know, I'm afraid of this city. It's a huge city, but I really want to explore it. So, it's a long story. Anyway, I'm planning on going there. If you were there, just you get, you give me some advice. San Francisco, California. I know you're not asleep. I live in Tennessee. Yes. I wish I lived in California, San Diego. But now Tennessee and we're doing fine. Um, am I married? Uh, look at my last YouTube video. Watch. Go to Puerto Rico. I'm not sure if the Russians are allowed to go to Puerto Rico without an extra visa. That's the main thing. Do I plan to go back to school? I mean, I know a lot to be able to earn some money in America. Uh, maybe, who knows, maybe. I will decide to go to school with the National Guard, you know, they have that um, training, the training part, so for your profession. So it might happen, it will actually upgrade my English speaking skills. Oh, oh goodness gracious. Some people come here to start some drama. I'm trying to get rid of all of the people who are so thirsty for drama out of my life and I don't focus my attention to so one comment. Um, do I miss my old jobs in Russia? Being a wedding planner is definitely very, very fun. As I told you many, many times, Zania, thank you so much. Hi. As I told you many, uh, many times, uh, Rus uh, Russian weddings and American are di totally different, and my profession here is not that needed. That's what I say because I'm a wedding host. I like to host, to be the center of attention, not organizing. Uh, I don't. I'm more like about communication not about organizing putting everything together I'm a very spontaneous I bad with planning actually um, am I allowed to talk about Russia do you family get in trouble no I don't think uh, Russian government will translate my special lives so I I talk about that. Uh, my fr mm, some of my friends, um, my mom. I don't discuss any pol politics with my mom. We have different point of views, unfortunately. 
but yeah, I'm pretty clear about my point of view. That's a cruel war and my country is an aggressor country. And what I think about the, like what Russian people who realize the, the tragedy should do, they should help, they should, you know, in years, the, second, the other generations are, I don't know, children, grandchildren will ask all of us, where were you when the, when our country bombed Ukraine? Where were you? What did you do? Why didn't you, um, you know, help to stop it somehow? And you can be honest with your, I don't know, my niece maybe ask me one day. And I'll be honest, I try to help Ukrainian refugees being abroad because here I have more resources. Oof, that's hard to say, hard to talk about. <laughs> what is my favorite pizza toppings? I like cheese, just four cheeses, especially if it has cheese like blue cheese, gorgonzola, oh I love it. Love you too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with Spanish. <sighs> so, is we are not most likely not going to the Dominican Republic, it's tough to learn Spanish. But I have another reason to keep it going. So right now I know Spanish un poquito. Um, the new tenants across the street, they don't speak English at all. So when I got introduced to them, there was their, uh, some relative who speaks English. I think it's the tenant's uh, sister. And it just was funny. I tried to tell them everything. Nosotros como miericas. Just, just things that doesn't make sense. You know what I learned a little bit from language, from several lessons. I tried to tell them as much. Is my dog pregnant? Oh, most likely she is. I'm excited to be a grandmother. I can't feel in Gio and not see him, no. I was like wondering, you know, lots of guards recognize you. Can they try to sneak a picture of us? That would be cool. But they will get in trouble doing this, so, you know. Do I still cook any of my traditional food, to be honest? got so lazy here. I don't cook uh, my traditional food. I cook something like easy. You can buy all the ingredients for like tacos. You put all together and kind of be proud of yourself that you cook tacos. That's what I do. <sighs> did I talk to my mom today? I did and I told about that at the beginning of this life. Yeah, they make you f leave the phone in your car, most likely, so you don't get inside pretty much nothing except for your car keys, your ID and the special card you put money on so you can buy something in there, those special machines. Um, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will teach you Spanish. Spanish is a beautiful language. I absolutely agree. Spanish is so beautiful. And um, at first, it's kind of complicated. I, I used to learn French, so I'm, I'm used to that kind of languages, not like English, which is, you know, I feel easier. But yeah, it's about practice. I guess I need to put more time in it. How far is Jeffrey from me? It's three hours drive one way. So today I was driving for six hours. That's why I had to put this beauty filter on me. If you saw me without filter, it was like, oh my God. I still friends with Natalie. Yes, we are. We uh, support each other, talk, just, you know, sometimes you 
just dealing with problems you need to talk with someone. Have you ever been to Denmark? Unfortunately not. I've been to Europe, but not Denmark for now. How often I can visit him? I can visit um, every weekend, sometimes on um, national holidays or the day off. They allow two days in a row visit, so it's good. Where I'm going for my next vacation, hopefully it's gonna be a vacation with my mom and we are going to Istanbul! Yeah. Thank you. Who are my closest friends I can talk to? That's, uh, you probably don't remember her, it's Julie. The the girl on the show, she told Jeffrey about the other American. Yes, she's my my bestie. We're still in touch with each other, talk a lot. But yeah, it's it's hard when you have a completely different life, you know, when you move to another place and your best friend stays there and her life is there, and it's hard to keep each other updated because you know she's not involved directly in your life and. It, it's just hard it, it's harder and especially if she this culture for her is a total mystery and some of the problems he she just can't understand me but I'm still you have your PayPal Zania I can discuss that with you on via my DM messages for sure. Yeah, thank you for willing to help. It's just so nice of you. Um, happy Mother's Day, Zania, for you. I know you are an amazing mom, and you have you are a, a fur baby's mom. <laughs> have so many cute puppies. I'm not starting the OnlyFans. Stop this drama. I, it was just a joke, um, <laughs> which <laughs> played well, really well. So you, if you miss that, I put some picture of myself in the bathroom, uh, in the shower. I mean, and put the link saying OnlyFans. Actually, you can tap anything on that name of the link, and I put the link to the picture where it says "You lost your mind." No, I'm, I'm not going to open the OnlyFans, especially for naked pictures or half naked. No, it's just not, not right now. Maybe someday, who knows? I will lost my mind really, and yeah, but not right now. Uh, lots of people judged me in the mess in the DMs who saw that picture and who didn't tap the link, you know, and didn't see the joke. Lots of people. Okay, you go girl, you do you, do what you want, that's your life. I appreciate you guys, you're just smart people, don't let the drama in, don't just care about people you barely know or you think you know, just mind your own business and I, I truly respect you for that. For those people who started the, some negative drama, toxic, I follow, I low you fail. Just, uh, I don't know, if you change your mind, the life will be easier for you. My health journey. Thank you. I'll be proud of my health journey. Nice for you to see that, to acknowledge that. Do you think I would ever live in Russia again? Unfortunately, uh, I don't believe it's gonna happen. But you never say never. It might be over you know, turn. New government in Russia. Then we have to change the whole politics. Like start to you know this pro program of. Mm, financial support Ukraine apologize and just try to uh, build a relationship with the whole world over again 
so it, it's possible uh, it is possible to make my country uh, you know like for people like me attractive to live in it is possible it's hard do I believe it's gonna happen anytime soon unfortunately not what are some of the things that inspire me that's a great thing I feel like such a thing, uh, simple things inspire me. They like wake up to my inner energy, my inner ch child, like the sun. Uh, you know, I recently went out of the house and I saw like, the woods around. There were no no leaves, and I could see far away. Like I could even see my neighbors. And right now I'm getting out. And it's all green. It's so pretty. Like my heart is like, <gasps> oh wow! It's just a life. You can see life. You can smell life. You want to live. You want to just not waste any minute on anything. You want to run somewhere, or do something. I'm just working with my counselor about that because it's not normal as well. But I'm just too desperate to leave. Too desperate for new experiences. That's I don't know what inspires me. Something inside or something outside mm. lots of people in my close circle they kind of like came to that um, place that they are in their middle 30s so they kind of decide to settle down uh, start a family raise their kids i truly admire their uh, them i love my friends i love their families that I don't have that inspiration for doing the same. I kind of, oh, that's cool. I'm so glad for you. But I'm going to just run somewhere, climb somewhere, drive my bicycle somewhere, get into trouble, some, something spontaneous. Maybe it's the books I've read in uh, my life. Yeah, it's adventures. I guess I love adventures. People on Instagram, they inspire me. People who post every day, they inspire me. Mm, somebody said that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what? I guess. Kindness is, it inspires me a lot, you know, when you meet people who don't have much, but they ready to share the last they have. Those people, I just, I admire them and they inspire me of, you give more because I never cared about money, that's why I never had it. Um, but anyway, it's, it's just the most, the coolest thing is to give that's why right now being in America I kind of can't afford more than I used to being in Russia and right now my focus is to you know share with my mom like I want to I don't hide that I want to show my mom uh, more countries more uh, uh, what people can afford in other countries the le different level of life because maybe maybe somewhere inside deeply inside I still want to change her mind about the whole situation Russian the politics the I just want to open her eyes on my perspective you know yeah I would definitely tell you more if I can talk you with you in Russian. Thank you. I love that too. It's kind of like something Asian, maybe Chinese. I feel like there is in this blouse. Why didn't I live in Tennessee? Well, I love Florida. Who told you I didn't live in Tennessee? I live both in Tennessee, Florida. Florida just more um, yeah 
the whole hour I was with you. It was uh, such a joy. Thank you. They, you helped me with uh, your questions. And uh, really, was I was excited to talk to you. As in old times, as we used to do, as usual, I, I'll tell that I have to go live more often. Thank you for everyone who send me badges, support me. I just appreciate you so much. You're awesome. You're the best. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. And see you next time. Bye. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, hit me up in the DMs. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Just search for Lola Lee Tea. I also put a quick link in my description. I love you guys. Bye.